Hi, I'm Joanne Jones and I am a Reiki Master Practitioner. I would like to take some time today to tell you what Reiki is all about. I am personally in love with Reiki. I've been doing it for 18 years. I have seen it help numerous people. It's helped people with who have had sports injuries and it's helped people who have been under great stress. Reiki is the universal life force energy that heals on three levels, body, mind, and spirit. When um, the practitioner is channeling Reiki, um, the Reiki knows where to go in a person's body. You might come and say, oh, I have a pain in my shoulder, you know, and your shoulder hurts. However, when I'm doing Reiki on you, you might go out and you might still have that pain in your shoulder. However, you may have come in with a problem, something that you had that you were trying to work out and just couldn't come up with an answer, like um, you were upset about something. That night you might go to sleep and tomorrow you have your answer. I was bitten by a dog. I was attacked by a dog, oh, 20 years ago. And um, unfortunately the dog um, pinned me against a wall and he tore part of my nose off knocked two of my teeth out, bit into my eye here, and then bit into my hand. I was really more concerned about my hand because I like to do crafts and my little finger would not go up. So I was out one night and this girl that I know uh, said to me, she had heard about the accident and she said, um, oh, do you want me to do Reiki on your hand? And I said, I don't know what that is and it sounds sort of weird so she said oh well I'll show you so she did Reiki on my hand and I was amazed my finger went up and it's been fine ever since at this point my face had started to heal but it's I still had you know scars and or some little scars so uh, she did Reiki on my face and it was it was amazing. It did. It accelerates healing. Reiki does accelerate healing. And then uh, one afternoon, my son called me and he said, Mom, I was just reading in the paper that they're having a Reiki, something about Reiki at one of the local churches. So I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll go up and find out what it was. Well, they were doing Tai Chi and they had a Reiki practitioner there. So uh, then I got talking to her. She was a Reiki master and I signed up for her class and here we are. That's how I got, I took all three levels and uh, I do it at Abington Hospital. Uh, Abington Hospital is great. They're one of the few hospitals. Uh, hospitals are coming more into it, but um, when I first started doing Reiki, um, I worked at a Catholic hospital and uh, I was all excited about it. And, oh, can we do it, you know, in patients and things? And they said, oh no. We can't do that. That's witchcraft, you know. We this is Catholic hospital. So, oh, okay, you know. So we don't. But the, the, the church is. It's not a religious thing at all. It's uh, it's not affiliated with any religion. Yet to me, it's very spiritual. It's, it's very easy to learn. And what what is really good about it is that the first stage of Reiki, the first level of Reiki, is you uh, become attuned to the Reiki energy and you do it on yourself. You can do Reiki on yourself, you can do Reiki um, on you, on your relatives, on your friends, that's the first level. Reiki can even be used in um, on machinery, like if your computer isn't working. You can do Reiki on your computer, you can do Reiki on your car, you can do Reiki on anything, and it really, it works, believe me. I uh, make candles and um, I Reiki, I channel the Reiki energy into my candles with the intention that they, they bring peace, love, and joy to the person who lights them and to all who come within their light and sin. Uh, the second level is of Reiki is um, more of a spiritual level. That's when um, people have done automatic writing sometimes. Uh, you can send long distance Reiki. Uh, I had a woman who had uh, twin granddaughters born in Florida. One had failure to thrive and uh, the other one was growing, the, other, the little one was not. 
So she offered to fly me to Florida to do Reiki on this baby. And I said, well, as much as I'd like to go to Florida, um, it really isn't necessary that we, I said, bring me a picture of her. And I have a little bear in place of the child. And um, looked at her picture and just pictured sending Reiki to the child. Um, there was a neurosurgeon who came to me and he said, um, you know, I, I've been hearing about this Reiki stuff, and he said, I'd like to, um, I want to know what it's about. I want to I want to try it out. So I said, all right, well, you know, just come. And he he actually works, uh, is a neurosurgeon who works on children, so he has a pretty stressful job. And um, I said, all right, well, come on up, and we'll make an appointment, make time for you. So as we're going into the room where I have my Reiki table, um, he said, now wait a minute, I want to tell you, I am um, a scientist, I don't believe in this stuff. And, what the heck are you here for? <laughs> you know, then you're asking me to do this. You don't have to believe in Reiki for it to work. It doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't, it's feeling sick could hurt. So he had his hour Reiki session and when he was finished, he, he fell asleep on the table. And when he uh, got up, he said, you know what? We think we know everything. And he said, there definitely is a place for this in medicine. Ooh, yeah. Reiki is uh, something that I think is beneficial to everyone. And the only thing I can say is that you have to try it. You have to experience it. It's a warming, healing, loving energy.